Hello, Lego YouTubers out there. So I have a, another review for you guys today. It is set number 6243, Brick Beard's Bounty. Now it is not to be confused with the Brick Bounty, which came out in 2015. This ship actually came out in 2009. Now I debated quite heavily on which one to get first. I do plan on getting the Brick Bounty eventually, but I went with uh, this one first because it is a little harder to find and I felt like I got a, found a pretty decent deal on a used one. So here we are. The book, the set comes with two booklets, two instruction manuals. And here I'll get a, here are the flags. The set itself was uh, 500 and something pieces. I'll put the exact number in the description. <coughs> but uh, I want, let me start by saying uh, the shark that this came with is a pretty unique and cool piece in itself. And I know a lot of people uh, really like this set for the biggest reason being this shark itself. Because a minifigure can actually fit inside there. So it's a, it's a pretty cool addition and I believe this is the only set that you can find this shark in. <clears throat> the set comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven minifigures. I'll start with uh, the princess or admiral's daughter, or governor's daughter, however you want to call her. She has a reversible head. It uh, comes with uh, two red coat soldiers, an officer, and uh, your average uh, soldier. Both with uh, printing on the back, which is pretty cool. And then it comes with an updated version, 2009 version of Captain Roger, Captain... Brickbeard, Captain Redbeard, whatever you want to call him. Now you're trying to get it to focus there. Oh, there it is. And there's Captain Redbeard or whatever. I personally prefer the older version, but he's not bad. It comes with... Uh, this uh, first mate kind of character. Nothing too special about him. And then uh, a couple of crew members, generic pirates. There's this guy. He has like a gold tooth. This pirate guy, he's uh, a little happier than the other one. And of course, what's a pirate set without a monkey? This one actually comes with a banana, which is pretty cool. And a parrot. Now, uh, this, this set, you know, some people like it, some think it's average, some don't like it. I was actually quite surprised and impressed with some of the building techniques that have changed on a pirate ship since, you know, the 80s and 90s, because this is... 
the first uh, new Millennium pirate ship that I've purchased from Lego. And they have updated their techniques. One of which is the this here. This is all different than in your previous earlier pirate sets. This net here is is made of a different kind of mesh or something, and I I, I think it's pretty cool. the The way the sails are attached, I have heard some people complain about. And yeah, it, it's, I don't hate it, but I can see maybe it's not some of the favorite, you know, aspects of this set. And let me start by another thing I'll say is I am, I am surprised by this flag. I didn't think I would like it as much as the printed Lego plastic flags, but it's actually cooler than I thought it would be, so I am surprised by that. And uh, another thing that I really liked about this set is this back section comes off super, super easy. I don't know if I got that on camera or not. But it's really only held on by two little pieces here, I believe. So it pops off fairly easy. And you can actually use this section down here. It actually has like a, a barrel for getting rum or whatever. And actually has a rat. Let's see if I can get him out here. A rat. It hides down in there, which I think is pretty cool. You know, you usually on these, at least the older Lego ships, this was all just wasted space. You know, there, there was no way you could really get to it. So I, I enjoy, I enjoy that. And then uh, this section here. has uh, two doors that open there and then in the back here this uh, pulls down somewhat but it doesn't really pull down very far so it's not uh, you can't really get in there very good from the rear but I will say I like this uh, two swords on the back I, I think that's a uh, it's a pretty stylish uh, addition. But the main way to get into the captain's quarters is through like this. And there you can see in it. Which again, you know, the way they made this to just come off so easily. Again, it's just held on by a couple of studs like that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed with. Um... Usually, I, I like to say the older sets are better than the newer sets, but I'm having a, a little bit of second thoughts in, re, in regard to at least this pirate ship here. I think it gets a little bit of unfair criticism. It has some cool little features that the older ships just don't have. <clears throat> and here we can see down in here, I mean... The main floor of the ship is nothing spectacular. It has a couple of cannons here. Cannonballs. You know, it's not super decked out or nothing. A couple of rifles on the front. Or muskets. So not a whole lot there. It does come with a... Uh, here, I'll show you. It actually comes with a plank, its own uh, plank instead of having to make one yourself or whatever. 
and put it back together here real quick. So just like boom, boom, and we're back in business. That's pretty quick. And uh, the mermaid here has a spin around feature it's for a figurehead, which uh, I'm not crazy about, but I don't hate it either. Just for fun, I'm going to give you guys a size comparison with my uh, Black Seas Barracuda. And the Barracuda is a little bigger. I'm there. So about even on the back. The Barracuda sticks up about inch and a half higher, I'll say. And is a little bit longer in the front. The sails come up a little bit higher. So it is a little bit of a bigger ship. When you put the two together. Even though the hull pieces are the same. You know, length. But, uh... I'm going to, well, I bought this set with the intention of turning it into either a blue coat or a red coat ship. I hadn't quite made up my mind which way I was going to go with it, but it was going to be one or the other. And now that I have it and have put it together, I think I'm actually going to leave it as a pirate ship. And I think it's my Black Seas Barracuda is what I'm going to turn into a blue coat ship. And then eventually I'll get the brick bounty and turn that into a red coat ship. So, but yeah, I was so impressed with this set that I have actually decided to pretty much leave it intact as what it was intended to be. A pirate ship. So, uh... For whatever it's worth, it, it, it surprised me. It really did. And as for rating, um, I, I I'm not gonna give it a I'm not gonna give it a ten, just because it, it it could have a little bit more stuff down here. It didn't come with an anchor. That's kind of a letdown. But, you know, it did come with this, you know, pretty awesome shark that everybody should own this, at least one of these. But, uh, I'm going to give it an 8.5. It's, it, it's, it's definitely better than I was expecting. I have to say that. 8.5. So, uh, that's my review on Brickbeard's Bounty. Again, not to be confused with the Brick Bounty. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And keep like, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you.